Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn about list view. So this would be very straightforward. Let's follow the steps here. And then I'm going to explain a bit um, more, a bit more than what is being explained here. So I'm going to launch my Trailhead Playground on my hands on orgs here and launch my admin cert playground close this tab so for example if i go to my accounts here so you're always going to be presented with the recently viewed list right and if you click here this is the available list so far so you can create new list from this gear icon here and then hit new list so what are we going to create it's called energy and biotech accounts i'm going to copy this so we can use this to check for our challenge as well so energy and biotech let's uh, share this list view with with everybody so all users in your salesforce org can can see this list view or you can share this list view with a group of users you can select roles you can select uh, roles and subordinates right so for this example i'm going to let everybody see energy and biotech accounts so you're going to save this then you are going to define the filter because as you save it, the filter has nothing. It just says, um, this is accounts belongs to me, but no filter yet. Now, we are going to add a new filter by clicking the filter icon. And we are going to fill the industry equals biotechnology and energy. So, I am going to add filter here and industry industry there see equals biotechnology and energy there and hit done so when you save that you can see all these um, accounts that are in the biotech and energy sector or industry so another uh, thing to pay attention this is all the accounts that belongs to you only you can also change this to all accounts so meaning accounts belongs to the whole org right you can do that as well so in this case it's the same view because this is just a playground and we don't have that many accounts so that's pretty much it and then um you can customize the fields you want to see on the columns here. Right now we have account name, the site, we don't even have any information, the billing province or state, and then phone type, and then the owner. So you can change that by clicking here and then select fields to display. A concept is kind of blank. We don't want that. Let's bring in the industry, right? So I, industry, over here, and save. Now we have the industry column here. So you can create as many list views as you want. Now your list view is available here. So say this is important once you create a new list view and then you navigate somewhere else right and then you go back to your accounts again i get these questions quite a lot from the viewers of this uh, video series you go back to accounts and you say oh where is my energy and biotech accounts it's all gone i thought i just created it right so pay attention this is always going to return to the recently viewed list so accounts you recently opened accounts you recently view 
Now to, to change the list, just simply click on there and then change the list view you just created with which is energy and biotech accounts and there you have it so that's all there is to it this list view pertains to any kind of records you want to view contacts right here you can create a new list view cases any object you want to view so that's basically it. It's really straightforward. I'm going to verify my step to get the 100 points. And next up is create chatter groups, which will be pretty straightforward as well. I see you on the next section. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom